Hello students, uh, myself Neil Kodia from LGI Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed about uh, uh, reflection geometric transformation and uh, uh, we complete all the transformation like translation, rotation, reflection and uh, mirroring image. Clear? And also we derive uh, uh, equation for the scaling geometric transformation and solve some numerical based on that. So in today's session we have to start one new topic that is homogeneous transformation matrix. Yeah. So now discuss uh, what is homogeneous transformation matrix and uh, in this lecture also we have to derive equation for the homogeneous transformation matrix. So to perform a sequence of transformations such as translation followed by rotation and scaling we need to follow a sequential process. Clear? If we want to multi uh, apply multiple uh, geometric transformation in any of the one object at that time we have to use homogeneous transformation matrix. Suppose uh, you, we have one triangle, first we have to move this triangle from one place to another place, after that we have to rotate this triangle, means any in any of the one object we have to apply multiple uh, transformation, at that time we have to use uh, homogeneous transformation matrix like uh, translate the coordinates, second rotate the uh, translated coordinates and then scale the rotated coordinate to complete the composite transformation clear so this is the simple method to perform multiple transformation in any of the one object okay so and uh, one more thing why homogeneous transformation matrix is used because of to uh, short the process of the calculation to shorten this process we have to use three cross three transformation matrix instead of two cross two transformation matrix to convert 2 cross 2 matrix to 3 cross 3 matrix, so we have to add a, one extra dummy column. Clear? In today, up to today, we saw we derive equation of the translation, rotation, scaling, and reflection. All the equation in the form of 2 cross 2 matrix. Clear? So we have to convert all these 2 cross 2 matrix into 3 cross 3 matrix. So for, for the conversion of 3 cross 3 matrix, we have to add one dummy row and one dummy column okay next in this way we can represent the point by three number instead of two number which is called homogeneous coordinate system in this system we can represent all the translation equation in matrix multiplication any cartesian point like p x comma y can be converted to homogeneous coordinate like p dash x comma y comma x clear in this case we have to represent any of the coordinate with three points clear now homogeneous coordinate for translation now you all know what is the translation geometric uh, translation geometric transformation Tran in meaning of translation that is we have to move any of the object from one place to another place and uh, we already derive equation of the translation matrix like new point is equal to old point plus translation of x axis same way if we want to find y coordinate at that time we use new position of y is equal to old position of y plus translation in y axis so you already know this equation of the translation matrix now we have to convert this translation equation into one matrix form 3 cross 3 matrix form the homogeneous coordinate for translation are given as translation matrix T is equal to 100010 TX TY1. You have to remember this equation. TX means translation in X axis, TY means translation in Y axis. Therefore, we have suppose new position of, of point that is X dash comma Y dash 1 is equal to XY1 that is the old position of point. You have to multiply this translation matrix with old point 100010 TXTY1. If you multiply these two matrix, then you will get the answer of the tra translation uh, matrix. Like first row, first column. You have to multiply XY1 with 10TX. X into 1 plus Y into 0 plus 1 into TX. And you will get answer that is X plus TX. Same way you have to multiply first row with second column x into 0 plus y into 1 plus 1 into ty and you will get the answer of the y dash y dash is equal to y plus ty clear and last 
फर्स्ट रो एंड थर्ड कॉलम सो x into 0 plus y into 0 plus 1 into 1 so you, we will get the final coordinate x plus tx y plus ty and 1 this is the same equation of translation for the 2D translation matrix clear so this is the equation of the translation matrix and you have to remember this equation like 1 0 0 0 1 0 tx ty 1 this is the equation of the translation matrix homogeneous translation matrix and you have to remember this equation we use this equation in the numerical same way homogeneous coordinate for the rotation now we already derived equation of the rotational geometric transformation in 2 cross 2 form like cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta so we have to just add one dummy row and one dummy column in that equation so new equation is generated in the form of the homogeneous coordinate for the rotation is given as rotational matrix R is equal to cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 this is the equation of the anti-clockwise rotation clear so and therefore we have x dash y dash 1 is equal to x y 1 and you have to multiply this rotational matrix with hold point like cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 and 0 0 1 if you multiply these two matrix like first row first column first row second column and first row third column and you will get the answer like x cos theta minus y sin theta in the second point y point that is x sin theta plus y cos theta and z like oh, last part that is 1 and you have to remember this equation for the homogeneous coordinate for the rotation cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 this is the equation of the anti-clockwise rotation clear if you, if you want to find the equation of the clockwise rotation then you have to just replace theta with minus theta in this equation clear and you will get equation of the clockwise rotation okay so this is the equation of homogeneous coordinate for the rotation now homogeneous coordinate for the scaling and you all know what is meaning of scaling if you want to enlarge any of the object or reduce size of any of the object at that time we have to use scaling geometric transformation here yeah. and already we derive equation of the scaling in two, cro two cross two form like sx 0 0 sy so in that equation again we have to add one dummy row and one dummy column and equation converted in the form of sx 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 1 so this is the equation of the scaling geometric transformation yeah, therefore, we have x dash y dash 1 is equal to x y 1 and you have to multiply scaling matrix clear yeah, sx 0 0 0 s y 0 0 0 1 if you multiply these two matrix like first row first column first row second column and first row third column and you will get the final answer like <coughs> x dot sx y dot s y and 1 sx and sy indicate uh, scaling in x axis and sy indicate scaling in y axis yeah. so you have to remember this equation of the scaling geometric transformation like sx 0 0 0 sy 0 0 0 1 clear yeah. so total three process we discuss first translation equation of the translation that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 tx ty 1 tx and ty indicate translation in x axis and translation in y axis same method we all uh, again derive equation of the homogeneous transformation for the rotation and equation of the rotation for the anti-clockwise that is cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 and last this is scaling and you have to remember equation of the scaling sx 0 0 0 sy 0 and 0 0 1 and sx and x s y indicate scaling in x direction and scaling in y direction okay so this is the homogeneous coordinate for the scaling now now we have to uh, uh, explain our new method that is general pivot point rotation what is the meaning of that suppose we have one triangle now in uh, our rotational geometric transformation is rotate any of the object according to origin clear so now we have to derive equation of the if we have one triangle and suppose triangle we have one triangle ABC and uh, from the point A we have to uh, rotate this triangle in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. Clear. 
so we have equation for the rotation of uh, according to origin but we don't have any equation for rotation any of the object from particular point so we have to translate that triangle to origin after that we have to rotate that object and again translate to its oh, actual position clear so this is the simple method we have to follow total four step clear for the rotation if we have to rotate any of the triangle from any of the point like a b c we have one triangle a b c and if we want to rotate this triangle from point a to 30 degree in clockwise direction or uh, in anti clockwise direction at that time we have to use this process translate the object so that your position is moved to the coordinate origin after that rotate the object about the coordinate origin then after translate object so that the pivot point is returned to its original position so in first figure uh, we have uh, the indicate one triangle is there and uh, we have to in the center of triangle the coordinate is x comma y now we have to rotate this triangle according to x comma y in clockwise direction clear so we have equation for the rotation about origin so first we have to move this triangle to the origin position clear so first we have to translate this triangle to the origin so in second figure indicate the triangle is translated or move at the origin point clear so first position that is original position of the object and pivot points after that we translate this triangle to the origin so translate of object so that pivot position x comma y is at origin now x comma y point is on origin after that we have to rotate this triangle into clockwise direction so in third figure indicate that rotation about origin clear this triangle is rotated about clockwise direction about point x after rotation we have to again translate this pivot point to its actual position so translation of the object so that the pivot position is returned to the position clear so in first figure we have one triangle is there and we have to rotate this triangle about point x so last figure is the output of this process means the triangle is rotated in clockwise direction about point x clear but in between we have two or uh, process two process we have to run first one that is we have to move triangle to the origin after rotation we have to again translate this uh, triangle to its actual position Clear? So this is the process for the general pivot point rotation. So same way we have to uh, uh, generate another equation of the general pivot point scaling. That means we have equation of the scaling about origin. But suppose we have one triangle and we have to enlarge this triangle according to its center point. Or we have to reduce size of this triangle according to its uh, center point. At that time, we have to first move this triangle to the origin. After scaling, again we have to translate this triangle to its actual position. Same process uh, like a general pivot point rotation. So translate objects so that the fixed point coincide with the coordinate origin. After the co origin, we have to scale the object with respect to coordinate origin. Again, we have to use the inverse translation for the step one to return to object its original. Here, so here total four figure. First figure indicate the original triangle. Now we have to enlarge this triangle about its center point. So we have to translate this center point to origin. That is that is the process of translation. So first we have to translate this triangle to the origin position. After, so second figure indicate uh, triangle move into the origin position. After the uh, second process we have to use scaling factor. Means we have to enlarge this triangle. So third figure indicates the triangle is enlarged. Means the size of triangle is increased. After that we have to move the center point of triangle to its actual position. Clear? So first figure is the input data. Last figure is the output data. So in first figure we have one triangle. And we have to enlarge this triangle about its center point. So last figure indicates the uh, triangle is enlarged about its center point coordinate. So this is the simple matrix general fixed point scaling clear you have to remember all the equation because we have to solve number of numerical based on this process now other transformation like a 
a reflection about its surface. Now, we, as you all know, if we have any of the object in first quadrant, if you find reflection about x axis, then that point coordinate is uh, generated in the fourth quadrant. You can see in this figure, reflection is a trans uh, transformation that uh, processes a mirror image of object. It is obtained by rotating the object by 180 degree about the reflection axis. Clear? So this is original position of triangle that is 1, 2, 3 and reflected position of the triangle that is 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash. Already we derive equation of the reflection matrix in 2 cross 2 form. Clear? So again we have to add 1 dummy row and 1 dummy column for convert this equation into 3 cross 3 form like 1 0 0, 0 minus 1 0, 0 0 1. Minus 1 because of in fourth quadrant y axis is in negative direction. That's why we take a minus sign over here. Okay. So this is the other transformation reflection about x axis. Now this is reflection about y axis means we have any of the object in first quadrant. If you find mirror image about that, then mirror image generated in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. That's why we have to use first point as a minus 1, 0, 0. Minus 1 indicate the x coordinate. Clear? So, and x coordinate in second quadrant, x coordinate is negative. That's why we use negative sign over here. So, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. This is the equation of the reflection about y axis. So you have to remember all the equation, reflection about x axis, reflection about y axis, what is scaling, what is translation and what is rotation. Now last one, reflection about line y is equal to x. Now as you all know the slope of line y is equal to x is 1, means line exactly divide first quadrant into two equal parts, clear, because slope of line is 45 degree, clear and first quadrant duration is 0 to 90 degree. So, y is equal to x line divide exact uh, for first quadrant in exact two parts. So, if any of the object is in first part, then that part's reflection is generated into the second part. Clear? You can all uh, see in this figure, we have original position of triangle that is 1, 2, 3 and reflected triangle of position that is 1 dash, 2 dash and 3. Clear? And based on that, if any of the points, suppose we have one point like 3, 4. Clear? And if you can find reflection about line y is equal to x, then that part converted into 4, 3. Clear? Means if you find a reflection of any of the point or any of the object about line y is equal to x, at that time x coordinate of original position is converted into y and y position is the answer of the x position for the reflected object. Clear? So, we have to just use this fundamental and derive the equation of line y is equal to x. So, equation of the reflection matrix that is x, x coordinate it, it is the reflection of the y point and y coordinate is the reflection of the x point. Clear? So, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1. This is the answer of the reflection about y axis. Clear? So, in today's session, we discuss about the homogeneous transformation matrix and in homogeneous transformation matrix, we derive equation for the homogeneous translation, homogeneous rotation, homogeneous scaling and last, homogeneous trans transformation for the reflection. And you all, uh, we, you have to remember all this equation because we have to solve numerical based on all this equation. Yes, yeah, so in next session we will solve some numerical based on this.